We've been in the process and we are still in the process of rebranding. I will not tell you how we will look like, but we definitely, in the coming month or two, will be rebranding. And from there, you will notice several changes, but no change in direction of working for the people. We remain a people-centered party whose ideals are informed by looking at things through the lens of social justice, of upholding people's liberties and people's rights, so, and fighting against corruption, because you can't serve the people without fighting corruption. So we will continue to champion those rights but we are rebranding, we are renewing ourselves. All right, madam. Now, we have some questions from some of our viewers, some, some of the questions that actually came in before and others are coming in right now. Uh, here's one of them. M madam, why is it looking like it's so hard to find people to work with, people of integrity or people of principle to work with in the political space? Is the game too dirty for the likes of you? Let me say this, it's not difficult to find people who others can work with. But I want us to remember why are political parties formed? They're formed to seek power, not to seek partnership with other parties. You seek partnership as plan B, plan A, seek the people. Na Kenya was formed like all parties to seek power. For now, we are talking of seeking the people. Seeking other parties is a plan B. We haven't reached plan B yet. So we are on the march to seek the people. All right, here's another question. What will become of the Limuru 3 and the Mount Kenya question? You've been vocal about this. Where do you stand on this going forward? Limuru 3 was a great occasion Mount Kenya was under lock and key politically. Psychologically, people were under lock and key. It's like they couldn't come out, they couldn't complain. They had elected this government and they were feeling, I don't know whether fear or had lost their agency. Limuru III made them realize that they can come out come out physically because they left wherever, you know, all the corners of Mount Kenya and came to Limuru. They spoke out and they left as people clothed with their agency to question the government, to review their status. And you have seen during the Gen Z uh, protests, Mount Kenya has been part of Kenya. So Limuru three achieved its purpose and we shall continue looking to strengthen the unity of purpose within Mount Kenya and within Kenya, because strengthening any part of Kenya is strengthening the whole. Kenya is made of 47 counties of over 44 communities and strengthening any of those or a group of those is strengthening Kenya.